So the Glaze WM version 3 is finally here. Just in case if you don't know what this is, this is a tiling window manager for Windows. If you have ever used a Linux, then you may have also heard about something called tiling window manager. It's really popular on Linux, but not that popular on Windows. So if you're looking for a similar thing on Windows, you want a tiling window manager. Uh, in my opinion, this is probably the best tiling window manager that you can get for Windows, but there are some other similar apps available. But again, uh, in my opinion, this is probably the best one. I don't think I need to give a full introduction to a tiling window manager, what this is and all that. Uh, this is more of an informational video that, yeah, you can also do this on Windows. You know, some people just love using uh, tiling window managers, especially the devs. If you're a developer, you know, you have a bunch of, uh, you know, windows open and you like to organize your things cleaner way and then you can access them with one click of a button, which is kind of cool, which I'll show you, okay, in a minute. I'll give you guys a demo, all right? So this is the official GitHub page for this uh, app or tiling window manager. So recently it got the v3 update version 3 and we can also see the demo here how this thing works and all that. Again as I said I don't think I need to explain you guys what tiling window manager is. This is something that if you need on windows yeah you can get it. It's really cool okay. To get this you go to the releases and then download the latest version and this time it is installable. Last time in V2, you couldn't install it. It was a EXE, portable EXE, and you have to run it and all that, but now you can install it. So simply download it, install it, and after you install it, launch it, and after that, you'll get a top bar at the top. Yeah, so at the top, you can see we have Windows logo, which does nothing when you click on it. And then we have some numbers here. Right now, it's only number one. This is workspace or virtual desktop. So right now, I only have two. One is in my main monitor and one is in my second monitor, which isn't being recorded. And in the middle, we have time, date. You can customize it. I have customized it already and uh, there are some info about your PC and also weather. And this can be customized, the top bar. It can be customized through config file, okay? So first, let me uh, show you guys. I, again, as I said, this isn't the tutorial about what Tiling Window Manager is. I'm just gonna show you guys that you can do this. Like I'm gonna launch uh, a terminal through shortcuts. Okay, I'm gonna launch a couple of them. And look at that. Now I have a couple of terminals here opened. Now, let's say these are multiple programs, okay? I wanna organize them. Uh, I wanna have different workspace for different layout or I'll create a different layout so I can switch in between them at any time with keyboard shortcut easily. So let's say I wanna move this window to next workspace. I can do this with Alt-Shift two okay i shouldn't be using two because it's in my second monitor let me get that back okay i'm gonna use three because now you can see at the top i have three this is a third workspace on github you can actually look at the commands cheat sheet image here from here you can learn how to use all the keyboard shortcuts to do all the different things all right so yeah uh, you need to learn this you can customize it again, but these are the default keyboard shortcuts. So now let's say I want to move this, uh, you know, browser instance to the work workspace three. Okay, I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut, which is Alt Shift. You can't really see when I zoom in, can you? No. Which is Alt Shift three for the third workspace. If there is a fourth one, you press the four, Alt Shift four. So let's say this is my setup. I have two workspaces for doing different things. Now I can switch in between the different workspaces to do the different things, okay? <laughs> you can make up to nine workspaces with different apps and different layouts and whatnot. Okay, again, this isn't the tutorial. This is just an informational video that 
yeah tiling window manager is also available for windows and all that okay <laughs> so let's say if i want to switch to workspace 3 i'm gonna press alt and 3 which is again default but right now something else is using alt <laughs> on my system which is when i zoom into the screen i can't really change it right now but you get the idea okay so you guys are smart i know so now look at this i have two different workspaces with different things on them so yeah, I can open more apps in here and whatnot. And I can even create another workspace. Let's uh, create the third one by selecting the window that you want to move to another workspace. And default keyboard shortcut is Alt Shift 4 or some other number. Okay, so if we go to the workspace one, let's say I want to move this middle one, this PC to a workspace five. I can do that easily now. I can just use Alt, one, two, three, four, five, and I can switch in between them. Okay, that's that's kind of cool. Now let's talk about the configuration, how to configure all the keyboard shortcuts and layout and whatnot. So in your system tray, you'll see the glazed WM icon. You just right click and then click on show config folder, which will open a folder where the config file is stored for Glazed WM. So this is the config file. You can right click and add it with anything that you want. Okay, right now I only have <laughs> the uh, notepad, so you can use any text editor that you want, or you can also even use some professional code editor if you want to. You can customize everything here everything i have already customized a lot of things here uh, let's say the gaps in between windows like you can see here it's a tiny and also at the top and bottom by default it, there are huge gaps it's actually pretty simple and easy okay uh, you can customize the gaps and uh, also some colors for example the border color and whatnot okay and uh, even the workspaces you know you can replace these numbers with something else okay you can go with the a b c d and whatnot but i think one two three four is a good one okay the default is good and you can also change some rules and whatnot so yeah uh, to customize it you have to go through this okay and it's not that difficult if you really want a tiling window manager on windows and you want to customize it and whatnot and there is one more new thing with the glazed wm v3 is that it comes with something called z bar the top bar that you see is actually this okay and to customize the top bar you'll have to edit the config file for the z bar or a z bar <laughs> okay so right click again show config folder and it also has the config file, right click, edit. And here you can customize the bar or is a bar, okay? You can actually install Glaze WM without the Z bar. So I wanna see what happens when you don't install the Z bar. So let's install this on a VM. So when you try to install this, it says install Z bar recommended. So I'm gonna untick that and I'm just gonna install the Glaze WM and let's see what happens okay oh it works but you don't have the z bar the bar top bar it works actually okay it works we have the config file for the glazed wm so if you don't need a top bar you can use this without a top bar which is actually pretty good yeah i like this i mean top bar doesn't have much functionality it, it shows you the numbers of workspaces, which is the most important one, but you don't actually have to see the workspaces. So I'm gonna press the de default shortcut key here. Uh, Alt Shift 2. This is uh, now moved to the workspace 2. Alt 1, workspace 1, Alt 2, workspace 2. Uh, now let's move this to the uh, workspace 3. Okay, now we have three different workspaces. Look at that. <laughs> and I'm switching in between them easily. Okay, I don't have to see the workspace numbers at the top. And I can customize it. Okay, uh, you see the gap at the top. This is for the uh, top bar. But if you don't have it or you don't want it, I can simply go into the config 
uh, folder and I can edit this with notepad why not and simply what I'm gonna do here is that get rid of this or maybe I'll do a five pixels here let me actually float this alt T will float it so you can see it a little bit better so I'm gonna and I'm gonna set it to five pixels I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna reload the config and look at that <laughs> we don't need the top bar not really but if you need it yeah you can go for it yeah it works without the top bar if you don't need it which is kind of cool so yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.